Friday. I have a busy day today. Um, my gingerbread house is outside my door. Oh, and I hate my hair, by the way. I think it looks so bad. And I need to, my, and my students are finishing up their gingerbread men, so they're gonna go outside the door. I have, my students have a competition tomorrow, so today I have to go to like the competition site and help set up for that competition. And, uh, and then the competition is tomorrow, so I actually have a pretty busy weekend. Right now I'm trying to get to work, and I left like two minutes later than I normally do, and the traffic is like way worse. Like just the two minute difference. I broke my nail, I don't know if you can see. It won't focus. But I'm like confused about how that happened. All I know is it hurt really bad. I think my hand was inside the glue gun or like my hand was holding a glue gun and I put it down on the floor. And I think I like shifted and my body weight like pressed down <laughs> on the glue gun and I, I didn't know it cracked until later, but it hurt. I thought for sure like the nail, the uh, the dip like peeled off my nail. I thought something happened, but I <laughs> later on I was like, oh, my nail's all cracked, but it hasn't like broken off. And I'm hoping it lasts me just one more day. So on Sunday, or I guess two days really, on Sunday I can redo them. I just hope it doesn't like break off. I should get my camera today. I signed the receipt and I put it outside the door so they should be able to leave it this time. My gingerbread house door is done and I mean my class is pretty much decorated the whole hall it wasn't just the door all the teachers had to do was the door but I I wanted the whole hall to be festive <laughs> but I'm super happy with how everything looks and my kids did I'm shaking my kids did a really good job decorating um, but right now very soon I have to go to another school to set up for um, a competition. Can't stop shaking. I have to get ready or I have to go to another school to set up for a competition that's tomorrow and I had to get some stuff to take. In the competition students are gonna draw a still life for three hours so the teachers need to take stuff for them to draw so I have this little cactus this skull guy. This K. Oh wait. There we go. Uh, this was a summer school activity I did with my kids and I did one as well. It's paper mache. And then this is also paper mache, this heart. I did this my first year teaching. We did this in like art club and I'm gonna keep it forever because I did this my first year teaching and it's, a, it's special to me. And then this is what I did with uh, my advanced classes. This year we made sugar skulls. This is paper mache as well. It's hollow on the inside. <laughs> but this was a really fun assignment. I thought it was fun and I did one as well. So I'm gonna take this for the students to draw. And then I have 
I have some other random things in my car. So, but this is all the stuff I'm taking from class to take over there after school. I just found two more gingerbread men that I need to put on the wall. These look like video game characters. I don't know their names. They're super cute. So these are gonna go on the wall with the little gingerbread houses. I packed supplies for the students that are going to compete. Three students compete for each teacher. And I have these little boxes and then I have some Prismacolors, different uh, pencils, like uh, soft and hard pencils, color pencils, and then markers. Oops, the not supposed to be in there. Pens, Sharpies, an eraser, a pencil sharpener. So each of them have the, the same supplies in each box, but students can also take whatever materials they want. And what sucks is that I ordered really nice supplies for this competition and there was a problem with our order and it did not get here in time. So I wanted to have so much more in here for them. And unfortunately that did not happen, but they have some nice color pencils and markers that have not been used. So they have a lot of ink, but, um, that's for them for tomorrow. I can't wait to redo my nails, not only because one is broken, but I'm very much not liking this anymore. <laughs> I just picked up my students, or I guess all the students that participate, their pins. Um, they have a pin to like remember the competition, but, and I'm on my way to the other school, which is kind of far, but I'm thinking I might stop and get an energy drink because my day's not over yet. It's far from over. I'm so pumped for tomorrow. The setups look really good and I'm like so confident in the kids that I took for this competition. Like I know they're gonna do super great and I really think that they're gonna enjoy it. It's a really cool competition and uh, I feel even more pumped because when we were there like setting everything up a lot of people didn't know what to do or everyone was just kind of standing around and we were like waiting for something to happen and I was like nope <laughs> it's like okay what do we need to do let's get tables let's get chairs and I was like very assertive and I know it sounds super dorky but that makes me feel really pumped up when like no one wants to take lead and occasionally like there have been a few times where like I've I feel like if no one is taking lead then I'm really good at like taking the lead and just being like Let's just do it and let's set everything up. And I was like making sure we get it done and like, boom, boom, boom. Like, let's not like take a lot of time thinking about it or just like wasting time standing around. And I was the one like getting the stuff and setting everything up and making sure it looked really cool. I mean, there were other people doing that as well, but I feel like I like took charge a little bit, which I know it's like super dorky, but it feels good. It feels good to like take lead sometimes. <laughs> um, this energy drink is really great this uh starburst energy drink and like i haven't even had I, I don't think i'm even halfway but it's a lot of caffeine because i feel amazing um but now i'm home it's 6 30 competition's really early tomorrow and i'm excited for my kids to compete because i think they're gonna do amazing but even if they don't they're gonna have a good time I woke up so early, I woke up at 5, <laughs> and I don't need to be there until 7.30, so right now it's 6.45, I'm gonna go to Dunkin' and get some breakfast and some coffee, and then head over to the competition, because I have a lot of time. I was not planning on going to Dunkin', I was gonna wake up like right about now, <laughs> but so I was up, I was like, well, might as well go get some good coffee and food. So that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna go back home. I'm gonna get a tumbler for my coffee because I drink coffee really slowly and it's, I can't finish Starbucks or Dunkin' before it goes like, before it all melts, all the ice melts. 
I have to put it into like something else. Um, if I get like a larger size, if I get like a small, then I'm fine. But I did get a larger size. So I'm going to go home and get like a tumbler to put it in. And it's kind of on the way to the school anyway, but. I got my coffee and my breakfast sandwich, but I'm actually going to go back home because I want a tumbler for this coffee because I drink coffee pretty slow and I want <laughs> I want to be able to have this for hours. So I'm going to go home, which it's not super far out of the way. But I'm going to go there really fast. This has been a bad morning. I found out that Canon, they're like, FedEx is going to ship it back to Canon and I'm going to get a refund and that's not what I want. So I'm waiting for Canon like to open at nine so I can call them and tell them like, please don't, don't, I'm not returning it. I just haven't been home to pick it up or to like receive it. And I guess like the, the receipt I got said to like, to sign it and then like text a number and it like you leave it outside your door. And I guess, I don't know. I don't know what happened with that, but FedEx changed their mind or something. I hit my knee so hard, it is still throbbing. I was opening the door to go in the house to get my tumbler and the, the first door closed and like hit my knee so hard. It hurt super bad and it is still, still throbbing. And um, one of my students is already here and I need to scarf down this food. I mean, there are teachers in there, but he, um, I need to, I need to hurry up. Oh my God, they put cheese on my sandwich when they asked for no cheese. <laughs> ah. My students did great. One of my students placed. Uh, I haven't seen the artwork yet. I'll see it in a few days, but very excited for that student. I knew that they do great. So I'm back home. It's like, it's after three and uh, I got Jersey Mike's. I don't even feel like it anymore. <laughs> I didn't know what to get. I didn't want to come home and cook. I like, I was like hungry and then I got it and I was like, I'm not even hungry anymore. <laughs> I don't know. This is just a weird day. When I was judging the high school artwork, I got like a rush of stress or like a wave of stress just like washed over me. I was like, oh my gosh, I got like super anxious and I don't know why. Like I've, I've done this competition, I've judged this competition like twice before. So I got like super stressed and um, I felt very anxious and I was like, oh, I don't feel good. But thankfully I was like, I was like almost, I was done with like the more important part of the judging, but it was like the second half that I was like feeling pretty anxious. But even after like we still, something in my eye, uh, we had to kind of like wait around for the results for a while and, I, and other people were talking to me, but I just felt like uh, <laughs> to leave just because I don't feel very good. But yeah, it's just it's not been a great day. But now I'm trying to decide what I'm going to do. Um, I might try to eat a little bit of this because that might be what's wrong with me. I might be hungry and not really know it. And then I might go to Target or something. We'll see. But yeah, I think I'm going to try to eat a little bit of this and see. That might be what's wrong with me. <laughs> It's so cold in here, which is crazy. 
because I'm always the person that's like hot. It's so cold. This is what I'm here for. That way I can sit in bed and uh, work on my laptop without like having my laptop be on a pillow. So just a little uh, lap desk. And it seems like it's a really tall one, which I like. I love this little bird and it has the date. Five bucks, so cute. 